As they travel, more and more energy is pumped into them. Just as Einstein predicted, they grow in mass. These are the exact conditions that existed just after the Big Bang. E equals mc squared actually tells us how the Big Bang itself happened. In the first moments of creation, the universe was this immensely dense, immensely concentrated eruption of energy. As it rushed apart and expanded, huge amounts of energy, or E, were converted into mass, or M. Pure energy became matter. It became the particles and atoms, and it eventually formed the first stars. Our sun is a huge furnace floating in space, and it's powered by equals mc squared. Now, it turns out every second, four million tons of solid mass of the sun disappears comes out as energy, not just a little bit of energy. It's enough to light up our entire solar system, make the solar system glow with heat and light. And not only do stars emit energy in accordance with E equals mc squared, the whole process actually creates life itself. Eventually, a massive star dies. The debris floats around, clusters together, gets pulled into the orbits of another star and becomes a planet. We humans and the Earth we stand on are made of stardust. We are a direct product of E equals mc squared. Einstein built on the work of those who went before him. Now others have taken his equation on further. E equals mc squared is being used to delve back into time to figure out exactly how our universe started and if in fact it will one day end. Somewhere out there is yet another genius with the answer. And you can explore the history of Einstein's ideas and find out more about the man himself at channel4.com slash science. Now on Sunday night, discover how stuffing your face could turn you into a world champion. The Big Eat is at 10 o'clock. Coming up next here on 4 though, Demi Moore peels off the layers of hypocrisy in striptease.